So today we're going to be looking at Western Digital's SN850X, their latest and fastest Gen 4 SSD, with capacities from 512GB right the way up to 4TB. Now this drive can reach speeds of up to 7300MBps, a second. it's really quite incredible, and it's slightly faster than the previous SN850. So in today's video we're going to take a look, we're going to install it into my laptop, and test the benchmarks and the temperatures from within inside the laptop itself and compare it to their older SN850. Now the first thing I want to state is if you're buying this for a laptop, make sure you get the bare drive, because there's two versions available. This one with no heatsink and a version with a heatsink, which is usually slightly more expensive. Now if it's going into a PC and you don't have a heatsink on your slot on the PC, then by all means get that one. But if you're buying this for a laptop, you must get the bare drive. There's never room to fit a built-in heatsink in a laptop. Now, a lot of laptops will come with their own heat sinks already installed, especially if you're replacing a drive. And with this anywhere, unfortunately, we don't get a heat sink on the second drive. So you can just pick up very cheap copper plates that will go over the top and do the same job as the ones that are provided by your laptop manufacturer. So let's take a quick look inside. So it looks almost identical to the previous SN850 packaging. Once we get inside, We've got some safety information, and we've got the bare drive itself, and that is it. Really is quite straightforward, there's nothing else to it. They don't even provide the screw to screw it into your PC or laptop, but you should have one with either your motherboard or pre-installed in the laptop itself. Right, so I'm going to quickly show you how to install it into my laptop here. Now firstly, I've opened my Anywhere laptop, very straightforward on this model. But before you do that, please make sure you shut your laptop or your PC down and unplug it. Now once I remove the actual base plate to expose all the inner workers of my laptop, my first job is to unplug the battery so that I know that it, everything's safe that I'm working on. Now you can see here we've got two SSD bays side by side. My primary drive is already plugged in. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to plug in my 850X in that secondary slot. We come in at a very slight angle. We push it into the slot and then drop it down into place and make sure it's fully seated in and you'll see when it's seated in place because the SSD will sit against the mounting lug. Now I'm then going to install my copper heatsink plate and I'm going to screw the SSD down and that's it. We plug the battery back in, we put the base plate back on and we reboot the actual laptop. Now once you get back into Windows because this is only a secondary drive I don't need to install Windows again but what we will need to do in order to see the SSD we need to go into disk management. Now when you load up disk management, it will automatically tell you that there's another disk, follow the prompts, then you'll see your 2TB drive shown in your list of disks, right click on the actual drive itself and do a simple format and follow the prompts. It's as simple as that and then you now got a working secondary SSD. So to test this drive we're going to be running Crystal Disk Mark and Crystal Disk Info. Now we run Crystal Disk Mark so we can actually benchmark this drive and see how fast it is and we run seven runs within Crystal Disk Mark to really sort of torture this drive to bring up the temperatures which we're then going to read in Crystal Disk Info. So with regards to the speeds of the drive, this two terabyte model that I've got here today, the write speeds were a little bit disappointing. The sequential write was only 6,800 megabytes a second, which is very similar to the previous SN850, so the non-X version. So that was a little bit disappointing. It did say up to 7,300. Now, in another machine, maybe we'll get slightly faster, and it is still an incredible result, but I was hoping to get over 7,000 there. But the write speed was truly phenomenal. Now with most Gen 4 drives, the write speeds top out at just over 5,000 megabytes per second. With this one, we've got 6,650 megabytes per second sequential write, which is massively better than the previous SN850. But that does come at a bit of a cost, and that's heat. This drive does run quite hot. During its testing, during this long benchmark run that we completed, it got to just over 70 degrees, and that's with the heatsink within this laptop. Now this is pretty much worst case scenario, because if you're in a desktop, you'll have much more room, much better airflow, and bigger heat sinks. But in a laptop, that is quite a hot temperature. But that is a sacrifice you've got to pay if you want the absolute top tier performance of these models. So there we go, this really is a top tier product, and a nice bump in speed, especially in the right speed, over the SN850. It does run hot, but so does the SN850, and a lot of these Gen 4 drives do run hot as well, and this in this like, laptop is the worst case scenario for a Gen 4 drive. But you are backed by Western Digital's five year warranty to give you that peace of mind. Overall, I think it's an absolutely excellent buy. Now as usual, if you've got any questions, put them in the comment section down below, and I will get back to you. 
and thank you for watching.